Welcome back. You know, people asked us, Dr. Z-Dog, Dr. Harry, I want to be a doctor too, but what type of doctor? You may have your own fixed ideas about what it's like to be an emergency room doctor or a surgeon based on what you've seen from uh, ER or Grey's Anatomy, but it's a lot more complicated. You watch Grey's Anatomy and you think, oh, all the surgeons are getting laid all the time. Well, that in fact, I think is true. <laughs> So let's start with our own specialties, okay. okay? I'm an internal medicine doctor. We don't really do much. We sit around scratching our head going, well, it could be this, it could be that. But we need to feel like we're doing something. So our procedure is writing a note. We write incredible notes, okay? We write procedure notes about our notes. 10.15 a.m., pen was laid to paper. Uh, complications, ink blotch on line three, remedied with whiteout, sample sent to medical records. I mean, that's how we roll. By the way, if you've met a funny internist, then uh, introduce him to me because, uh, <laughs> hello. Nerds. <laughs> <laughs> what about the pediatricians, brother? Are pediatricians gods? Well, you tell me. Seven-year-old kid comes to my office, can't hear a thing. First, I got it, my equipment on. I looked straight into his ear and pulled out a frickin' earwax the size of a spider monkey. Presto! The kid could hear crystal clear. Joan Osborne asked the question, what if God were one of us? <laughs> this is what it'd be like, friends. Okay, the highest paid of all the ancillary uh, medical specialties. Uh, what, what do you mean ancillary? Well, you get paid more than some nurse practitioners. A few of the janitors, at least 25% of dentists. On the scale of absolute wealth, pediatricians, Justin Bieber, God. Absolutely. Oh, 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 oh,
That brings us to our colleagues, the surgeons. They're all over primetime TV. Everyone wants to be a surgeon. And Johnny is an eeny, meeny, miny, mo lover. Until they realize that they're going to be up all night and have no life. Shorty is an eeny, meeny, miny, mo lover. And probably get hepatitis from a needle stick. And you know, surgeons have this reputation of really only wanting to cut. If it doesn't involve the knife, they don't really care. We internists say that when you're a hammer, all the world is a nail. But I have a story which almost changed my mind. I actually was talking to one of my surgical colleagues about a patient of mine who had an abdominal mass. He says one of the most important things that a surgeon can do is decide when surgery is not necessary. And I said, oh, well, does that mean that he doesn't need surgery? And he goes, what are you kidding me? That's gotta come out.